All right, so hey, Mike Gordon here from Mike'sBackyardNursery.com. Today I want to talk about um, growing small plants in containers. One of the things with perennials is they don't overwinter really, really well if they're not covered and protected for the winter. So what we've done is I've built these, these frames, and these frames are going to serve a multitude of purposes. Um, so basically, we get small, small plugs in, uh, perennial plugs in the summer a lot of times, or even if we're potting our own little tiny rooted cuttings, and if it's in the heat of the summer, potting them up and then putting them out in full sun is not a good thing. So basically, I built these frames, and then I put shade, the shade cloth is just temporary, but it protects these little tiny, this is like 70% shade cloth. And really what this is, these are eight foot by 16 foot mesh tarps. Um, I bought some on Harbor Freight and I bought some on Amazon.com. They were about, about 30 bucks a piece for an eight by 16. They work perfectly for this because they create about 70% shade. Um, and then, so I, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to get, this is 48 inches wide, so I'm going to get some four foot fencing that's got a pretty tight mesh, put it on top of here, and then for the winter, we'll put white plastic, not clear plastic. Clear plastic heats up, and it, it, it'll have the temperatures inside of the frame going up and down all winter long, where white plastic reflects the rays of the sun. The plants are still going to freeze, but once they're frozen, they're going to stay frozen, so the temperature's not going to fluctuate up and down. Since these structures are so low, there's not a lot of dead air space under here, so the plants won't need much moisture at all. We'll make sure they're good and wet when we put them to bed for the winter. Then we'll cover this with white plastic. Um, I got this two by four down here, so we'll pull the plastic down, and then I'm gonna take a one by two furring strip and actually just tack the plastic right to the, the two by four and to hold it in place. So there'll be, some wire fencing on top of here, kind of like you'd put around your garden or maybe the, the playground for the kids in the backyard, four foot high fencing, lay it on top of here, but it's gonna be rigid enough that then during plant sale season, we can take our plants out and set them right on top of here to display them so it's, it's easier for our customers. So we can have plants growing underneath, we can have plants on top, and then come winter, we'll cover this with white plastic, It'll, there'll be fencing, we'll put the white plastic right over top of the fencing, being flat, water is going to puddle on top of there, and I'll go through probably with a pitchfork or something and poke a few holes so that the water can actually seep inside to raise the humidity level inside of this frame. So people are asking me about this all the time, and this is a great way. There are other ways to create, but doing this, I can create shade, I can create a display area, and I've got a place to winterize my plants for the winter. So these frames that I build are exactly four feet wide, they are 30 inches high. So these upright pieces are 30 inches. And, and I made them 12 foot long. So each section is about 12 foot long. So 30 inches high, eight or 12 foot long is up to you. Make them as long as you want. And then 48 inches this way. That way that 48 inch fencing will lay right on top of here, it'll lay here, and that'll support it pretty well. So anyway, this is how I'm going to winterize the plants that I know are a little bit difficult. A lot of the perennials, some of the hosta, things like that. We may even double stack them under here for the winter because once they're in there, we're not really going to water them. I'm just going to let some water drip in to keep the humidity level up. So anyway, this is a, this is a, a, a good way to, I used to do this with my Japanese maples years ago. I would build a frame like this, put the Japanese maples in there. And I didn't have the fencing on top, so the, the water, you know, the plastic would sag. And then I just poke some holes and let the plastic seep in to keep the humidity up. So I'm kind of going back old school to something I did a long time ago. So anyway, this is a great way to overwinter plants. This is a great way to display plants. This is a great way to provide shade for things that you want to protect a little bit when you first pot them. So Mike McGrody from Mike'sBackyardNursery.com. I'll put a link uh, below this video uh, with a link to the page uh, more about this if you have questions follow the link and you can ask your questions there I don't respond to questions on YouTube. I just don't have the time for that I, I you know, I spend a great deal of time answering questions on the blog much back your and I, I'm there every day and I'm in the members area every day So all right, Mike McGordy. Thank you very much